So this is just a quick video. It's not a complete tutorial in changing a fuel pump on a 2.2 TDCI Transit Mark 7 engine. Uh, this will be using the Laser 6828 fuel injection pump sprocket locking tool. Don't look at the instructions. Um, if you're like me, you try Googling it, couldn't really get anywhere. Don't read the instructions. They make absolutely no sense. Just, you should be, this will be easy to explain. So this is the fuel pump here. You can do it on the vehicle. Obviously we're uh, doing an engine change. It's held in with a few 10 mil bolts just around the back. There's one, uh, two, three, and then a bracket, which I've already removed. The bolt that holds it on in here, let me just remove this quickly. Ooh, two seconds. That's a left hand threaded bolt. So do not undo it because you will be doing it up and snap it. Ask me how I know. Just do it up as if you would normally undo. So that's a turn it right to undo it. So it's a opposite thread. So this is the sprocket tool that you get from, uh, from laser. It's not assembled. So you need to assemble it this way. Okay. They'll only fit in two of the holes and you want to go with the little shoulder out both sides. So it can be tightened against each other. Then use an Allen key to wind it up. It doesn't screw into anything unless you've got a rare model that seems to have some threaded holes in there. Crack this loose, slot this in, turn the engine with the crankshaft until the holes line up with these, wind them in with the Allen key into these holes and do that as far as you can and it will lock that in place. It won't allow it to move past that point. You can turn the engine a little bit as well if you want, just so that it pulls against these, which gives you a little bit more tension. Remove the bolt, remove the back, get a three eighths bar through the hole here, tap it with a hammer and the pump should pop out the back. I will we'll come back in a second. Let me just right, set this up. That's all lined up. So now all you do is wind in the grub screws or whatever you want to call them. Like so. Now through the hole there, there's the bolt. I've already cracked it loose. It's a 21 mil. So just as if you're doing it up, which I'm doing it. I like to just crack it. I don't like to take it out all the way. So you do that and then you start releasing the three 10 mil bolts around the back. Right, so we've removed the three bolts. So there's one there, one under here and one just right around the back there. I've now released the bolt and undone it. So we can just wind that out of there now. Come here you, there we go. One left hand threaded 22 mil bolt. Don't do it up because you'll snap it. Ask me how I know. And then what we're gonna use is a three eighths bar because it doesn't damage the threads. Just onto the pump, a few love taps. And as you can see, I've already given it a little tap and it's starting to pop out. And then we should still have the tension on the chain. Okay, so as you can see, that pump is now out. So you wind these as far as you can. Be careful, you don't want to wind them and a, the collar drops off on the other side. So the threads are now wedged in, and I can show you over here on this engine, those threads are now wedged in here. Now they don't wind into anything. I think on some of them they have threaded holes. Uh, on the ones that I've done, they don't. So they just wedge up against the sides and they lock that in place and they hold that tension from the chain moving in. So that's unbolted. There we go, there she is. The only reason I'm doing that is because I'm just swapping every fuel component over from this blown engine um, onto this, uh, well, second-hand engine there. Um, and then the reverse is the same, basically. So you want to just put that in, do the three 10 mils up just loosely, and then get that bolt in the front, wind it, and start winding it. And you can wind it at the same time you're winding the pump in, so you're pulling it all together. Um, and remember that bolt is a left-hand thread, so you're undoing it is tightening it. Um, and that's it, basically. So this is how I do it. So we got this one going through here, slowly doing up that 21 mil, and then I've got the three 10 mils in. So I'll do a few turns that way, and I'll do a few turns that way, and that's slowly compressing the shaft and the uh, sprocket on. There we go, job complete. Bolted in, just got to put the cover back on. So there we go, that is how you use that crappy laser tool.